Hello, I am Dr. Nitya Ramurthy, Senior Obstetrician Gynecologist with Fortis Muller Hospital, ADR Chennai. So today I am going to talk about happy hormones. I think that's a need of the hour. The other day I was talking to my batchmate Dr. Kamala, who is a senior, she is my batchmate, she is a senior obstetrician practicing at Ramna district. So as we were talking casually, she said, she was talking about happy hormones. Then I realized, why don't I share that with you all? Happiness only comes from within us. So th there are four happy hormones within us, which keeps you and me happy. These happy hormones are secreted by the endocrines. And these happy hormones depends upon your environment, the food that you eat, the exercise, and the relationship be between one another. The first happy hormone will be serotonin. Serotonin is a feel-good hormone. It stabilizes your emotions. It helps in digestion and sleep. This happy hormone, when does it come in action? Okay, when someone is in distress, you go and help them. Or someone is needy of food, like today there are lots of people. I know, I know a friend of mine called Lata Dube. Every day she prepares about 10 to 15 uh, food parcels giving to poor people. I'm sure she must be one of the happiest person because she's so happy doing this good job for everyone. And of course, this happy hormones, one, when you go and help people in distress or you provide food and water or you take care of the sick people, you are going all out of the way to do something for someone. That is very, very important. So this happy hormone is serotonin. So when you do good to some person, you are automatically, you are feeling very happy. Even when you give a smile at someone, don't you feel happy? So this serotonin is very important for this. This serotonin, when these levels come down, is only then when you experience anxiety, panic attack and depression. So now you know how to keep yourself happy and serotonin is one among them. And the food which has like amino acids called tryptophan, this helps in the production of serotonin and this amino acids is present in milk, yogurt, fish, chicken, all your dry fruits, avocados, all those kind of foods. So you remember to make sure you always have good balanced diet. The next happy hormone is called endorphin. Endorphin is a neurotransmitter and this endorphin is also called runner's hormone. So now you must guess what is runner's hormone. This is this hormone really goes up when you do exercises, when you go to the gym, when you exercise or when you play a game, volleyball, football, cricket, any game that you play or even dance. At the end of it, don't you feel refreshed? You feel rejuvenated? That's because of this endorphin. Endorphin also, when you experience the same hormone, when you are with a group of friends, having a good laugh, joke, and you're enjoying yourself, in that time, endorphin goes up. Similarly, one favorite food, chocolate, dark chocolate. When you eat dark chocolate, which has got 70% co cocoa, even that increases your endorphin. So this endorphin, that's called runner's hormone. So now you understand why when you exercise and so forth, why do you feel happy after that? It's because of your endorphin. The third happy hormone is called dopamine. Dopamine is your motivational hormone. For instance, you're given a job, a project and you've done very well and your boss gives you a pat and says you've done a good job don't you feel good that's it because of your dopamine secondly a child when it behaves very well or it does very well in exams when you say oh you've done very well so it's like a motivational the child feels very happy the child feels they're doing better next time similarly in the couple when the wife dresses very well or she prepares a good food, the husband appreciates her. Similarly, when the wife appreciates her husband, oh, you look smart today, you look very good, the shirt looks very nice on you. So this complimenting each other is because of dopamine. So now you know how to keep yourself happy. Dopamine is responsible for this. But when you don't sleep properly, like you don't have six to eight hours of sleep so that affects your dopamine so dopamine is not only a motivational it also keeps your memory intact and also keeps you alert then the fourth happy hormone will be oxytocin oxytocin is called cuddle hormone or love hormone this hormone is very responsible for bonding bonding relationship husband wife with your family members with your friends it builds up love affection trust 
So this is very very important. So when you hug a person or the mother kisses the child, that affection, that affection is there. And also husband and wife, they have a perfect understanding. Or with your friends, you build up relationship, trust among you all. So that is because of oxytocin. The same oxytocin is very responsible. It promotes uterine contractions during labor. Then the re all these four hormones keeps you happy. I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Bye. Till I meet you again.